Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. It's Enios, and today we're gonna be jumping into this week's Crash of the Titans, and we're gonna we're gonna be going against Cable using none other than OP himself, Mister Bishop. Uh, we all know he's a pain in PvP. He is a monster when he's paired up with other five stars in five star land. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this man's settings, specs, what each ability does. As you, you guys can see here, he's at 370, max champ. You can see that his red it hits for 170 damage, then blue is 149, yellow is 131. So let's go ahead and jump into overclocked. It's a passive. Bishops absorbs his enemy's attacks, storing them up for the explosive blast. If Bishop teammates would take 1859 or more damage, Bishop jumps in the front once Bishop has taken 3719 damage, deals 7810 damage to the enemy. So we're going to go ahead and jump into his blue. General reserves is a blue passive. With every injury, Bishop grows stronger. If Bishop takes 930 or more damage, gain 5 blue AP. If Bishop has 10 or more blue, this power becomes energy conversion. So when it turns into energy conversion, uh, Bishop is going to stun the enemy for 4 turns and destroy 6 AP in the strongest color. A passive, if he has less than 10 blue AP, the power goes back to general general reserves we're gonna go ahead and jump into the yellow is it cost 10 yellow for the future and then bishop fights to protect his people making a great sacrifice along the way bishop converts one enemy special tile to a strength 168 friendly protectile passive if there are two friendly protectiles on the board at the start of the bishop's turn remove them and gain two blue ap so right now we have them specked out at 553 if you guys have them specked out different for this Crash of the Titans, specifically for this match, let me know in the comment section below. How did you guys change them up and the reason why? So we're going to go ahead and jump into, into it, but because we already know a 370 Bishop is going to win the match with no problems, we're going to bring a 270 base championed Bishop. So you guys can see we're gonna go in clean with no boost or of any kind so we're gonna go ahead and jump in so what we're gonna try to do is play keep away on blue and green for cable and the yellow i'm not too worried about because it only creates strike tiles but let's go ahead and test our luck hopefully we're able to beat beat them with a basic champ bishop which i don't think we're gonna have a problem but let's go ahead and keep green away. Let's go for this red match. Here we go. Okay, the board's being kind of nice to us. Let's do the black. Oh, we gave him that green. But thanks to him matching that green, he triggered our attack. So that's a good thing. Maybe we should let him take some green so he can trigger his attack. Oh, would you look at that? We ended up getting more than 10. So let's go ahead and stun the man. Stun for four turns, which is gonna give us a huge advantage. I'm gonna leave the green right there so he can take it. Because I mean, green doesn't really do anything for us. We were just trying to play keep away. But let's go ahead and see what. To, if he takes the green, if it's gonna trigger the attack. It triggered general reserves. There you go, he launched his yellow, which created two strike tiles, and that triggered his attack. Let's go ahead and stun the man. Look at how smooth this goes. That's the power of Bishop, guys. If you guys don't have him, I strongly recommend you guys go for him. He's a top tier four star. 
just because of this look at this guys if you guys fight against five star teams this guy he's gonna help you guys a lot he is a health pack eater though because he takes damage he sacrifices himself he jumps in the front but it's worth it though it's worth to leave him in, in a defensive team when you guys are playing pvp just leave him leave him on defense if you guys have to float for a minute leave bishop and people are going to avoid this man at all costs because even i still avoid him at all costs like yeah he's easy to beat but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put myself in that position guys Go ahead and get some yellow. We're gonna try to set him up so you can take green. That way we can, we'll just take blue. Let him get the green. Let him kill himself. And there you go. You, there you guys have it. A two seventy base damage bishop champ at 5553 five, five, let me know how you guys did in this run did you guys do any better did you guys shot him and killed him in one shot but let me know in the comment section below let me know what you guys think if you guys want to see any teams in action just let me know and i got you guys but everybody like comment share subscribe and please guys be safe out there and i'll catch you guys on the next one